dear boys welcome to my online class how are you i hope all are well at your respective houses during this corona pandemic boys you know we are passing too much crisis time in this time it is essential to protect yourself so don't go outside stay at home and stay safe i am pradeep kumar assistant professor of geology borishal cadet college boys you can see a image of animal do you know what is the name of this animal yes this is gastropod so my today's topic is gastropod and this class is for class 12 and my today's topic is included of chapter 2 and the name of the chapter is animals identity at the end of this class you will be able to explain the structural features of gastropod explain the mouth parts of gastropod explain the digestive system explain the circulatory and respiratory system explain the structure of an ammatidium explain the vision mechanism explain the reproduction and metamorphosis of gastropod boys now classification of gastropod kingdom animalia phylum arthropoda class insecta order orthoptera family acridity genus locusta and species locusta danica so its scientific name is locusta danica now some important keywords targum sternum sclerite ostium emocile ammatidium ovipositor now general characteristics its body segmented and there are some joint appendages found in the body their body covered hard skeleton that skeleton is called exoskeleton and this is made of chitin and their color is brown or green they have one two, one pair of antenna and this antenna formed of 22 25 segments they have molting uh, power i mean they can uh, change their uh, cover uh, and this is uh, called molting this process is called molting they have open circulatory system our circulatory system is closed type but their circulatory system is called open circulatory system because they have no blood vessels their body cavity filled up blood and this is called open circulatory system they have compound eyes but our eyes is called simple eye but they have compound eyes. i mean uh, a lot of lens found in their uh, eye and this is called compound eye and this number is 1200 to 1800 lens found in their uh, eye and this uh, so the uh, unit of the compound eye is called ammatidium gastropods breathe through tiny holes in their abdomen called spiracles uh, so there are some tiny holes and uh, this is called spiracles and this and they, they are respiration done by this uh, spiracle now it's a, a figure of grasshopper look their body uh, divided into three segments or three regions uh, first region is called head then middle region is thorax and last part is called abdomen and they have one pair at uh, two pair uh, wings first wing first pair wings is called front wings and second pair wings is called hind wings and they have three pairs of legs uh, the last pair of legs is large type so they can jump easily one place to another their body uh, consists of some several uh, segments and this segment is called sclerite and the dorsal side of sclerite is called targum and ventral side of sclerite is called sternum this is antenna and formed of 22 25 segments the uh, the, 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 the this is the mouth and the, the mouth is always uh, downwards so this their head is called hypognathous type
body region. Their body divided into three regions, head, thorax, and abdomen. Thorax divided into, again, three regions, prothorax, mesothorax, and metathorax. This is prothorax, mesothorax, and metathorax. This is head, and this is thoracic region. And first pair uh, of legs uh, found in prothoracic legs, the uh, prothoracic region. So first pair legs is called prothoracic, uh, prothoracic, prothoracic legs because it is attached in prothoracic region. Second pair is local, uh, leg is called uh, mesothoracic legs because it is attached in mesothoracic region. And the last pair of legs is called metathoracic legs because it is attached in metathorax. First pair of wings called mesothoracic wings because uh, first pair of wings are uh, four wings attached in meso mesothorax region. So it is called mesothoracic wings. And second pair of wings attached in metathorax region. So it is called metathoracic wings. Now, appendages three pairs of legs, two pairs of wings are attached in. Their bodies, so these are the appendages, and their legs are consist of five parts. Look, this is the legs, and legs are consist of five parts: coxa, trochanter, femur, tibia, and tarsus. Tarsus again formed of three parts. It is called tarsomeres. This is called coxa, and there is a small part attached with coxa. This is called Trochanter. So trochanter is the smallest part in leg, and the last part is, it is called femur. Then it is another last part. This is called tibia, and this is tarsus. Tarsus again form of three parts, and this is called tarsomeres. Now head of grasshoppers. The grasshoppers has two compound eyes. Two compound eyes. One antenna and two compound eyes, one eye and antenna and three simple eyes. The antenna sensory organs located on the head. It is the sensory, sensory organ of grasshoppers. So they have five eyes, two compound eyes and three simple eyes. And this is the uh, mouth part. I mean, uh, these organs are found in the uh, surrounding of mouth. So it is called mouth parts. Look at this picture. This is compound eye, and these three are simple eyes. Now, mouth parts of grasshopper. Grasshopper's mouth part consists of five parts labrum, labium, mandible, maxilla, and hypopharynx. These five parts consist of mouth parts of Grasshopper. Labrum is used to hold food. This is used to hold food, and it is the upper uh, part of mouth. And this is the uh, this is called upper lip of mouth. Labrum is the upper lip of mouth and covers the oral cavity or helps to keep the mouth shut. So mouth shut down is helped by this uh, organ. Uh, mandibles. Mandibles. These two are mandibles. They, uh, they are used to chew food. Food. Chew food. Uh, they have some black colored uh, teeth. That is called men, uh, that is called denticle. Uh, denticle. It can help to cut and grind foods. And they have two types of muscle: adductor and abductor muscle. Uh, this is maxilla. Maxilla uh, are used to chew and taste food. Maxilla is to taste food. A layer of maxilla is found right after the mandible. It is found just behind the mandible. Uh, each maxilla contains cardo, styes, galia, and lacinia. So uh, maxilla co consists of cardo, styes, galia, and lacinia, and five segments containing sensory maxillary pulp at their basal membrane. So uh, so galia is consists of cardiostyles, galia, and lacinia. These four 
part. This part. so there are four parts present in uh, maxilla, and another one uh, segment is present in uh, maxilla that is called maxillary pulp. Maxillary pulp again consists of five segments. Now labium. Labium is the lower lip of uh, mouth of grasshopper. Its basal membrane contains submentum, mentum, and lingula. So it is also consists of three parts: submentum, mentum, and lingula. Lingula is the tip of the uh, portion is called lingula. And again, another uh, uh, branch is present that is called uh, labial pulp. Labial pulp. Labial pulp again consists of three segments and it acts like maxilla to search food and selection of food. And the last part is called hypopharynx. Hypopharynx, hypopharynx, it is a curtain like organ present in the middle of oral cavity. It helps to move the food within the mouth. It contains salivary glands at the base of it from which saliva is secreted and it can mix the food with saliva. Now, digestive system. The digestive system divided into three parts, foregut, midgut, and hindgut. Foregut is also called stomatodium, midgut is called mesenteron, and hindgut is called proctodium. Now, this is the uh, figure of digestive system. Look, this is called uh, this is called crop. Actually, there is a mouth, mouth to uh, gizzard is called uh, foregut, and mesenteron is uh, the middle part is called midgut, and the last part is called uh, hindgut. There is some uh, finger leg -like position. Uh, that is called, uh, that's number is six pairs, and that is called gastric sica. The enzyme is secretion from, uh, from here. And this is yellow colored uh, tubules. Uh, this is called uh, Malpigian tubules. It acts as excretory organs. And this number is 100. And this is uh, rectum, what is stored in waste materials. And this is anus. And the waste material expel out from this pore. It's another figure of uh, digestive system. Look, the uh, green color portion is called food guard. And the mid, uh, middle portion, that is, uh, this portion is called mid guard. And mid guard or mesenteron, uh, actually, it is uh, covered by uh, one. A uh, type of membrane that is called peritrophic membrane. And uh, brown color is called is hindgut. So it is hindgut. So you can easily see the uh, or, uh, division of digestive system in foregut, midgut, and hindgut. This is rectum, and this is anus. The oesophagus is used to swallow food. Uh, the uh, oesophagus is the part of digestive uh, cell. It is situated just behind the buccal cavity or the mouth cavity. And then uh, it is uh, there is another, another organ that is crop, gizzard, gastric sica, stomach, large intestine, and small intestine are digestive organs. These are also present in digestive system. So this is uh, mouth cavity and this oesophagus. Then uh, this is crop. Gizzard, there is a, uh, uh, this is a yeah, gizzard, there is a teeth in here and they can uh, grind the food, uh, they can help the grinding of foods. And this is gastric sugar, the digestive juice are secret from here. And this is stomach, where food is stored here. Then malpigian tubules, so that is excretory organs, and this is Ilium. This is this portion is called ilium, and then colon and 
colon and the last part, this last part is called rectum where the waste material is stored and the last part is called and as well from this pore the waste material is expelled from the uh, from their body so the anus removes waste from the body the malpigian tubes collect waste from the blood so uh, malpigian tubes is the excretory organ of gasophers okay but now circulatory system nutrients are transported through the body of a gasophore by an open circulatory system their circulatory system is called open because they have no blood vessel i mean artery and vein but our circulatory system is called closed circulatory system because we have artery and vein the blood is uh, passing through in artery and vein uh, but their blood is filled with this body cavity this is called body cavity and uh, there is no vessel so they are uh, they are, this body cavity is filled with blood and that is the body cavity of blood is called hemocyte this is called hemocyte and this is their heart their heart is uh, seven chambered and uh, they are joined each, uh, with each other by one pore this pore is called ostia or ostia most of the single number so the heart is located in the abdomen and thorax pumps the hemolymph towards the head where it slowly moves through a simplex structure called a silom. There is a silom, the hemolymph then slowly makes its way back to the heart to be recirculated. So uh, there, this is uh, there is heart, uh, blood goes to brain and uh, circulate the body. Uh, the, so blood goes towards the head then uh, again uh, recirculate the whole body and this uh, this heart is uh, situated in the dorsal side of the body of grasshopper and is attached with uh, dorsal side by one kind of muscle that's name is calorie muscle and their uh, blood is called hemolymph uh, there is no uh, respiratory pigment uh, like hemoglobin so they cannot uh, take part in respiration and their blood is colorless and their blood cell is called hemocyte and so uh, their blood uh, their, this blood is mixed with a lymph in body cavity so that blood is called hemolymph now respiratory system the respiratory system of grasshoppers consists of spiracle, trachea, tracheal, and air sac. Ten pairs of spiracles found in grasshoppers' body. Among them, two pairs are in the thoracic region and eight pairs of abdominal region. If spiracle is open in the atrium, it is connected to trachea. Trachea is fine elastic tubule, which is branched to form a tubular network throughout the body this is trachea and every trachea has a uh, pore this pore is called spiracle and the smallest part of trachea is called tracheole it is directly connected with the body cells when the intima forms a spiral shaped ring inside the trachea is known as tinidia so the spiral shaped ring inside the trachea is called tinidia and so the end, the smallest part of trachea is called tracheole. This tracheole is filled with fluid. This is called tracheal fluid. So, uh, the exchange of gases, I mean, oxygen and carbon dioxide are exchanged in tracheal fluid uh, by diffusion process. The trachea is extended toward an equally distributed membrane containing large air sacs. So, there is an large air sac this is a air sac this air sac can deposit air for proper circulation so air is deposited in here this air sac now compound eyes of grasshopper grasshopper's eye is called compound eye a lot of lens in found here and the structure and functional unit of compound eye is called omotidium it is the figure of omotidium and and omotidium consists of some several parts 
uh, first part is called cornea allow the light rays to enter the eye this is called cornea this is called cornea and it is hexagonal convex transparent membrane made up with cuticle is cornea or lens this is cornea or lens is same this cornea got a smooth exterior surface the surface is smooth and the next part is called cornea gen cell below the cornea a pair of pure cornea gen cells present so its number is one pair when number is two and that's called cornea gen cell cornea is made up from the secretion of this cell so uh, this cornea is made up the secretion of this cell next part is called crystalline cone cell this is crystalline cone cell a lens like crystalline cone is located beneath the cornea gen cell and starts to focus light rays in water so crystalline uh, cone cell uh, is produced within them due to the arrangement of this cell next crystalline cone the crystalline cone is surrounded by four cone cells crystalline uh, cone is surrounded by crystalline cone is surrounded crystalline cone is surrounded by four cone cells that start to provide nourishment to the cone so uh, yeah, it facilitated light reflection is in here look this is the picture of amaterium this is retinal cell then uh, iris pigment sheet it is black color i mean black black pigment is present in here iris pigment sheet this is iris pigment sheet black in here yeah. usually two iris cells or primary pigment cells can surround the crystalline cone it is a membrane made up with a thick pigment material this is called iris pigment cell usually facilitated the formation of image so containing the light entry in the materium by contraction and expansion then retinal retinal cell seven retinal cells that surround the rhabdom and provide it uh, nutrition and protection this is the retinal cell and its number is seven it put it produce internal rhabdom and take part in visual mechanism then rhabdom next layer is of sensory cells called rhabdom this is a the innermost layer is called uh, rhabdom which are elongated and transversely straighted and are sensory in function so this is the rhabdom it acts as the reflecting surface means it produces the image of an object so the image are produced in here this is called rhabdom and the retinal sheet the retina is uh, covered by a, one kind of sheet that is called retinal sheet this is a retinal sheet and basement remain uh, where the homogeneous and location that is called basement membrane so basement membrane homogeneous are present on a basement membrane in a cluster this separates the homotidium and optic nerves and this is nerve fiber which is collect the uh, image, uh, image and send to it send to brain so uh, nerve fiber is uh, collect the image and send it to brain of grasshoppers uh, a cluster of optic nerves is found in the lower portion so a cluster a group of uh, nerves present in the lower portion of an omotidium across the basement membrane so it is across the basement membrane later they can produce optic nerve which can ultimately be connected in the brain so it is connected to the brain of grasshopper it extends simulations to produce an image okay mechanism of image formation grasshoppers uh, produce image by two ways a uh, number uh, one is called superposition image and another is called apposition image now superposition image in dim light the pigment retinal and iris sheet is confined around the cornea and basement membrane 
dense homotopia are not isolated and light can pass through one homotopia to another their retinal cell and abdomen can be excited by light coming through their own as well as through neighboring lens or light enters an homotopium through several lenses this homotopia forms a complete image of the entire field of vision and all the images together form a continuous though partly overlapping image so uh, this is object uh, and the light ray come from uh, object to rhabdom directly and another uh, ray uh, come to uh, uh, lens of homotopium uh, oblique rays so uh, uh, because the light uh, the retinal sheet and uh, iris pigment sheet not extended not covered not separate the um, uh, other homotopium so uh, two types of image is formed in homotopium uh, so uh, they cannot see the object clearly that is called superposition image one image overlapping and another image so uh, this is not the clear uh, formation of image this occurs in mild light and is called superposition image usually this occurs in afternoon evening and night when light intensity is mild at first the iris pigment membrane is contracted toward the cornea and the retinal pigment membrane is contacted toward the basal membrane in an homotopium so the whole homotopium or the crystalline cone and rhabdom become uncovered so uh, all are uncovered the iris pigment and, and pigment and uh, retinal sheet uh, not covered the, uh, the are all others homotopium uh, so it is uncovered the light rays from the object that directly enter the cornea so directly enter the uh, cornea, uh, cornea reach the abdomen through the crystalline cone cell and slanted rays can enter through the cornea of one, one uh, amatidium and re, uh, reach the rhabdom of another amatidium so another rays are come to amatidium usually such mechanism of image develop through the placement of one image on another is called superposition and such image are called superposition image so uh, this image function is not good uh, they cannot see the object clearly okay now a position image in bright light the pigmented retinular and iris sheet extend continuously to entirely cover the corneagen and crystalline cell so this is iris and retinal pigmented sheet they cover the retinal and crystalline cells. As a result, the omotodia are separated uh, from each other by two pigment sheets. So all uh, omotodia are separated by this pigment sheet. So only uh, the, uh, one ray is uh, close to omotodia and make a image formation. Uh, so uh, such eyes, only those rays of light can form an image which can parallel to the longitudinal axis of an homotidium so only the longitudinal uh, light goes to uh, homotidia through cornea and pass directly through the center of the lens each homotidia forms a different but adjacent image and all the homotidia um, of a compound i produce a position image so look the oblique rays are uh, absorbed here because here is an uh, black pigment black pigment is absorbed black pigment can absorb the uh, rays so only the uh, rays of central axis goes uh, to the longitudinal axis so only the longitudinal rays uh, go to, to go to the amatidia uh, through cornea and make a clear image not uh, uh, overlapping image is formed here so it is the uh, it is called a position image formation or mosaic image so it is by this process that's why can see uh, their object clearly now reproductive system gaspers have both male and female sexes the females deposit sperm into the females similar receptacle where it is stored until needed so 
sperm uh, deposit in female's body the, uh, the name of that organ is seminal this is also seminal receptor store uh, seminal receptor can store the sperm of males when the female is ready to lay her eggs the sperm is released into the abdomen where the eggs are fertilized and and the eggs of gasovers color is gasovers lake uh, gasovers eggs color is brown then female uses the pointed structure at the end of the of what abdomen colon oviposito so oviposito is a uh, uh, organ pointed organ which is uh, present in female's body uh, and uh, it, uh, what is its function its function is to dig a hole in the soil where the fertilized eggs are deposited. After digging a hole, then they can uh, they lay eggs uh, and deposit there. So, uh, obesity is an important organ of female's body. Now, it is the figure of life cycle of gasopha loop. This is adult gasopha that is also called imago, and this is eggs, color is brown, and uh, from egg. The hatching of a larva is called neem. This is called neem, and they can uh, 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 change their uh, body covering. That is called, uh, molting is in here. Uh, so, what is molting? When new exus skeleton is formed beneath the old one, which breaks and is cast off. This process is called molting. So, uh, they can adult. Uh, by uh, um, molting process, so they can change their uh, exoskeleton by five times. This is called, and uh, this is uh, first name, and this is second stage of name, and this the middle, the form of name between two successive molds is the the instar. So the middle portion between these two. Uh, for a time is called the portion of uh, uh, is called instar. So the problem name between two successive modes is termed the instar. So this middle term is called instar. Okay, metamorphosis. The process by who is the young form of gasopars into the adult form. Actually, metamorphosis two types: complete and incomplete metamorphosis. Complete metamorphosis. The metamorphosis in which there are striking difference between the young and the adult. The adult stage is assumed through a total change is called complete metamorphosis. The child of meta complete metamorphosis is called larva, and there is no similar from adult to larva. So this is called complete metamorphosis. Incomplete metamorphosis when grasshoppers are heads the infants are known as nymphs and the nymphs look like teeny gasopers and over time grow into adult gasopers actually the uh, infants i mean nymph and adult is similar the structure and this is called incomplete metamorphosis i mean when the young and adult stage of an animal are similar except in size color wing and reproductive organ is called incomplete metamorphosis i mean when the uh, similar the uh, adult and young stage that is called incomplete metamorphosis and the uh, young stage of incomplete metamorphosis is called nymph but its young stage is called larva okay boys have any questions if you have any questions, then ask me after finishing my this all. Okay, now sample questions. First question: Grasshopper's leg consists of how many segments? Three, four, five, and six. Number two: What is the color of grasshopper's egg? Yellow, brown, pink, white. Number three: Mouth parts of grasshopper is mandible, trachea, labium. Which one is correct? One and two. One and three. 2 and 3, 1, 2 and 3. Number 4, how many Malpighian triples found in grasshopper's body? 100, 200, 300 and 200. Okay, boys, 
we have to find out the answer of these questions. Now your homework. The organ of vision and mode of seeing is interesting in grasshopper by using oblique or straight, straight light rays, they are capable to see. First question, what is allergy muscle? Number B, why the blood of grasshopper is called hemolymph? Explain. Draw the level diagram of the structure and function unit of the vision organ of same mentioned animal. Structure and function of vision organ is omotidium. So you have to draw the level diagram of omotidium. Number D, analyze the differences between the two types of image formation mentioned in the stream. So it is your homework. Okay, boys. Now I want to again see don't go outside and stay at home if you go outside then maintain social distance actually you have to maintain social distance in every way for your betterment for your safety okay boys thank you and see you next class